Welcome into one of the busiest days in all of sports, National Signing Day. The Acadiana area has always been known for having so much talent, and we have team coverage across the area showing you how it's done. Megan Glover and Elijah Nixon will join me in just a second. But first, let's start things off with one of the defending champions from our area, the St. Thomas Moore Cougars, who have a trio joining the Louisiana Raging Cajuns. Sam Altman, Landon Struther, and Hutch Swilly will all join Michael Desimo's crew. The trio helped to lead the Cougars to back-to-back -back state championships and continue to be one of the biggest dynasties in all of the state. Now all three of them will get an opportunity to play at the collegiate level, which makes them grateful, but also they'll get to do it for their hometown team. It's very special. Obviously, I grew up going to UL games, uh, having the opportunity to stay home, play for my hometown team, get on, get to put on for my family and stay in the 337 is really a big thing for me so I think it's awesome. Yeah that's a that's a pretty cool story just to, us three I mean we've been together since sixth grade so I think we've probably had like three to four total losses in our whole career so that'd be pretty cool to keep it going. Yeah we've been we've been together since middle school we've been uh, working hard um, coming to uh, Cathedral and then here at STM we've really just grown together uh, as a team being able to uh, build off of each other, keep each other accountable, and just taking it to UL where we can uh, just build on what we have. Now, there were plenty of other guys that joined the Raging Cajuns 2024 signing class, and that's where we find our Megan Glover, who has more. Cajun Marcus last year for Louisiana was about achieving their footprint. This year was to build on that foundation. UL welcomes 19 members to their 2024 signing class, and of that crew, three of them playing right here in their backyard. As you mentioned, that's STM's running back Hush Swilly, St. Martinville back Stephen Blanco, and LCA lineman Fitzgerald West Jr. transferring from across the basin at LSU. For Cajun's head coach Michael Desmo, a local guy himself, he jokingly mentioned how he'd bring on all the Cadiana guys in the perfect world. But in this regard, he talks about the importance of grabbing the talent and filling their needs right here in our backyard. You know, every year when we start a recruiting class, we start in state. Um, in particular, we start, you know, as close to Lafayette as possible and work our way out of there because uh, I think it means a lot to those guys to be able to come in here and play for, you know, their hometown university. I mean, it did for me. In 2023, Louisiana opened their season to Northwestern State, and that's where we'll pivot over to Turling's Drive, where senior defensive back Jalen Ford signed to the Demons. The six foot, 190 pound senior was anxious to sign his name on the dotted line. He says he chose an issue because simply it felt like home. And as for what type of player they're getting, one who's ready to get to work. I know Weston will get my full 100% best of me effort every day at practice. I'm, I'm going to give him my all. I'm going to give him my all. The coaches, staff, they showed tremendous love and they gave me an opportunity to make my dreams come true. So. I win with no rest of Steve. And we continue our signing day coverage as we take things over to Acadiana High. That's where we find our Elijah Nixon. Yeah, over here at Acadiana, Dominique McKinley has made it official by putting pen to paper and signing with the Tigers. The number one player in the state of Louisiana, Dominic McKinley, is headed to Baton Rouge. The six foot six, 270 pound defensive lineman decommitted from Texas A&M. And a few days later, the Tigers pounced on the opportunity to land the five star recruit. He said the process was difficult, but when it came down to it, he simply chose to stay home. I mean, I'm glad it's over by right now, and it was a hard process. It's like home. It's like 45 minutes away from here, so the food is the same, everything the same. I feel like I'm really home, going to be home. The window was opened with the, the transition at, at, at a and and then we just became consistent with um, our ability to um, you know get with him and his family and and show them why this was the best choice now with the addition of McKinley the Tigers will have the seventh best signing class in 2024 reporting in Lafayette I'm Elijah Nixon with KATC TV and that'll wrap things up for our national signing day coverage for Elijah Nixon and Megan Glover I'm Jamarcus Fitzpatrick for KATC Sports